So Oracle had their uh, quarterly update for uh, CX. Uh, it, it's you know you can basically set it by by your watch uh, these days. Uh, and essentially, what they do uh, because they have they have a SaaS product is is they're doing uh, rapid quarterly updates, which uh, which is different from let's say an on-prem version that uh, that that doesn't have this uh, type of consistency. Daniel, I'm going to give you uh, I'm going to give you uh, most of this one, so I think yeah, this well, is going to be the uh, the Daniel show. The next uh, couple topics here. Well, you you we you know how that goes. There's things that we lean into. Um, I, I got a couple coming up here, so I, I'll, I'll take the take the bench. Um, Tom Brady's coming in, buddy. <laughs> throw that, throw that trophy. God, I can't believe he did that. Um, anyways, um, look, uh, the team at, at, at Oracle and the CX in the cloud has been very ambitious. There's been a lot of criticism that's come over the, the years that the company has not been innovative enough. So the real focus here is showing that it's being innovative, showing that it's regularly updating its products and services. And the cloud really is an enabler of this. So these new updates will provide a couple of really noteworthy items, um, enhancements to sale, selling B2B, enhancements in service B2B, and some loyalty and marketing capability updates. I'll touch on these really quickly um, and why I like them. So voice capabilities added to the platform. You know, we all know with CRM, CX, opportunity creation, the, the, the need to be able to talk to our systems because people are terrible at putting data. So I really like that. It's, it scales the speed of uploading systems of record um, and on top of that, it's really more mobile friendly. Um, that was a big one in that particular area. The other thing I really liked was some of the next best action tools. Um, you know, salespeople need to know where to focus. When you're working on 10 or 20 or 30 opportunities, Pat, you and I are entrepreneurs. We know how our heads run all over the place when we're, you know, talking about different opportunities. Um, salespeople can have 50, 100, 1,000 opportunities. Where does that focus go? So I was, I was encouraged at kind of how AI and ML and data is being applied to provide these salespeople uh, more clarity. Um, on the service size side, I also like the, you know, one, the focus on B2B. I sometimes feel like B2B gets sidelined for B2C. You know, B2C is cool. Everybody knows what it is. Um, <laughs> there were some um, great updates at the digital service automation layer that really drew my attention. And that's really, you know, we hear about chatbots a lot. But look, a crappy chatbot is a crappy experience. I'm not going to say any more than that. I think everybody knows that. Um, they're working on making it simple to deploy very high quality, engaging chatbots that really can power a meaningful interaction. And there were some great updates done on that particular capability. So um, that, that caught my attention. And the last thing is on the loyalty and marketing. We all know loyalty drives repetitive business. We also all know that the customer data platform, CDP, is a hot topic. So some updates to their crowd twist and Oracle Unity, which is their CDP platform were, were made. And I really like the fact that, that they're working to create more bi-directional data flows between crowd twist, which is that, that data source for all that external connecting to things like social and, and digital, uh, and, and then their CDP Unity layer, which connects to the systems of record that you keep within the company and let that data flow in between. The CDP is all about the right opportunity <coughs> moment, right time, right customer. That's what they're doing. Last little thing, Pat, they did make a connection to Zoom, some upgrades to, to their Zoom integration. We all heard about Oracle um, doing some work with Zoom in the cloud. But one of the things also is did, virtual events are becoming increasingly um, snoozers. Too much of it, not enough engagement, not enough uh, visual uh, data for people to know, are these events successful? <clears throat> they're implemented in their newest updates to deepen the engagement and improve virtual events for vendors. So a lot there, Pat, um, kind of streamlined updates, but overall I felt that, you know, it really to keep Oracle consistent uh, continuity to the updates so nobody can say their products are getting stale, which is something that has been um, spoken about in the past. Well, and just the the notion that they're gonna do quarterly updates and, and stick off of that, I'm sure they have a lot of debate internally on you know, are these relevant enough? You know, you can jam in uh, updates uh, uh, all, all day long, but you know, the biggest question is, is, is do they do they matter to customers? Uh, when I uh, looked at their looked at their presentation and and watched the video, I think it was gosh, was it yesterday? Yeah, this is pretty fresh. Uh, what I was most uh, impressed with, and this may. This may sound nuts because it's normally not the sexy thing that gets covered. Was their B two B 
uh, service updates and their ability to intelligently manage chatbots and prioritize uh, a, a more valuable uh, customer coming in and then uh, treat them differently, right? Uh, on the fly than you might treat the other 50,000 people that, uh, that, that came in uh, for support. And there was this connection uh, to the back end, which, which again, I, I think they've had pretty good success with uh, so far, showing the value of the ability to go look into um, uh, factory uh, data, uh, ERP, to be able to uh, give better service to your customers' uh, uh, immediacy. 